Vibes Cartel lawyer Isaac Buchanan speak out against the corrupted system and the corrupted DPP and some corruption politicians that are in the system that want to send Vibes Cartel away for life. Blessed morning to my viewers and my subscribers. Them. Me hope everybody having a blessed and a wonderful morning. Now my viewers and my subscribers, remember, in everything you do, always put God first. In every or uh, any situation, just always remember to call upon God. Always remember to pray because a prayer day keep the devil away. Now my viewers and my subscribers, Vibes Cartel Liar, after the Privy Council, speak out in an interview against the DPP. Yeah, man. The same DPP we did want Vibes Cartel Liar to get banned. So him can go at the Privy Council. This is what them did freder. This is what them did a run from. Because them can't buy him out. Isaac Buchanan is not for sale. He is for the poor people. So them can't buy him out. So that did them problem. When them find out say them can't buy him out. Them try to make him name look bad. Them say all kind of things about him. But people, me I go play this audio so you guys can have a better understanding of everything that I am talking about. But what I want to ask you guys, do you think Vibes Cartel will walk free the next two to three months from now? Let me know, people. So welcome back to my viewers and my subscribers them. Big up to all of my viewers, big up to all of my subscribers them. We continually support the channel and I help the channel for grow. Now, remember to leave a like on this video. Give this video a thumbs up. Also, if you're a new viewer's first time on my channel, then please subscribe to my channel and turn on the post notification bell so whenever we drop new content, you will be first to be notified. Share the content and leave your opinion down below in the comment section my viewers and my subscribers Isaac Buchanan is going to explain to you guys what took place inside the Privy Council and the amount of corruption that got exposed inside that Privy Council people and it only make Jamaican look bad it make it Jamaican justice system look bad they used to have Jamaican as bad people but trust me the case yeah. It just show up the whole justice system and you know say boy people we do anything and everything to make sure say they sink you deep 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 under the ground once they want to sink you people but check out this audio and leave a like on the video all right to convict somebody you must do it legally it's almost like you can't you can't two wrongs don't make a right and to ask that you you wave it you oh wave my wrongs because that person is wrong is the most kindergarten response and an out an absurdity in the law a lack of um a lack of respect for what we as Jamaicans decided to do to to protect somebody said I said what does your peers mean. Um, is it race and status considered? All right, so if Queenie was here, <laughs> in a Jamaica, everybody bad, bad, poor. Your peers is your peers is everybody. We drive upon upon the same road from 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 the same road as you. If you are Jamaican, you are my peers. Whether your child out of many one is your peers. The thing is. You have to identify discrimination. You have to, and, and remember, you know, there are a lot of broken people in society. A lot of broken people. So what we're faced with now is the judge ultimately could not discharge the poison. And that is what we were talking about today. Having a poison. So you ever buy grapes? Are you ever buy a bag of fruits, a bag of orange, and one of them spoil, and it rests on the next one, it makes the next one rotten, and that's why them say, um, rotten grapes spoil the whole bunch. The same thing, um, anything rotten, you put something rotten around things fresh, it contaminates it, and if you leave 
a rotten grape in a in a bag in a bag of grapes and you leave it it ferments and then after it rotten and all of that the drunken people them turn it in a wine and then them drink and drunk and then when them drunk them get them 30 pieces of silver and then them turn judas anyway you get what i'm saying you get the point i don't forget too much into that save on to say that you must know would you want it's almost like this Jamaica have a scamming problem. Would you want a scammer upon your jewelry? Would you want that, knowing it? Or it's all just like this. This is. Let me show you this new standard. L l let me give you the new standard because I want you to appreciate this. Uno no says six people in a parliament corrupt. Corrupt, corrupt, corrupt. Uno don't know them name. Uno really all right with that? Because that's what happened. That is exactly what happened. And the court sanctioned that. So that's why that is why in the Jamaican space certain things don't matter. Represent the twelve jurors who are jurors of your peers. That is the key thing about it. The twelve disciples rep represent the twelve jurors of your peers. So it tells you that in the disciples at least one of them are gonna sell out at least one will sell out and so what it is is the most important thing is that you we must get a fair trial because it's you so when you hear things are talk about I wave I wave it and I took the gamble took the gamble with my life you took a gamble with my life and you're asking the apex court to respect that you are a gambler guy if you if you gamble with my life you will gamble for 30 pieces of silver anybody will tell me say them a gambler them no me no want them around my money because it look like how ssl you come from and if you declare yourself a gambler you should resign from your position how you think about that? Just sounds, it sounds wrong. And so, here we have a poison that was allowed to stay and fester. And if you know anything about people, just put them in a room and poison them. And you see the result of that. That's it, you know? That's it. But, I digress. I'm not here to speak about politics. I'm here to speak about context matters and to be careful about the words that you use because they can be emotive. Yes? Never in common law and not in my lifetime has there ever been a, a poison placed on a jury, a corrupted person that we know are corrupted like six people in parliament that we know are accused of corruption and are allowed to stay there by process and procedure never has that happened when it comes to a man's liberty a man's liberty has, is at stake and and corruption is what was used to send the four men to prison you see how jamaica corrupted corruption was sanctioned and you witness it for two days they beg for corruption to be certified Corruption, you know, they took corruption out of Jamaica and brought it to the, the streets of England and walk into the apex court of our land and said, these are our submission. Corruption can be allowed to stand. We turn a blind eye for, to it because that is what we want. That's what we want for our nation, to be allowed to let corruption stand in pockets and even when we know. Provided in a particular situation, people we don't like, people from a certain area, we can deal with them and we should have that power. If that is not dangerous, I don't know what, it, what, what danger is. If that is not concerning, I don't know what it is. We're going to talk about the jury. We're going to talk about ideally because sometimes some people test your spirit, you know, and you have to sit down and say, more time you have to say, yo, I want to do something, you know. But then you think, I can't go lay down the people, them dog kennel. It's not like, it's not like, 
it's not like America where they actually have, you know, prison conditions that are conducive in the federal space. Or it's not like Denmark or, or, or spaces where actual white people live and they have to make sure say, they don't um, breach human rights. But it, the conditions is not in a place where you would have to respect yourself. So you do even want to teeth a mango because they might treat you like you did commit a murder. You don't want to do you don't want to you don't want to lose your conscience. And the thing about it is that's one aspect of it. Because if you put it in context, there are people who say, yo, this are me and this are what I gotta do no matter what. And so these things aren't deterrents of crime. And these are the conversations that we have to have. But to have these conversations, the system must be a working system without the possibility of, of cracks, in the, cracks in the system that um, cracks in the system that would allow the common man. And when I say common, I'm not talking common like common foul, but the man, a simpleton. A man who said, I don't want much, you know. I just want to do my 9 to 5. I just want to work my $13,000 a week. And I just want when Friday come, I just go in on my KFC line and get myself a meal deal. Because I can't even afford a big deal. So one piece of chicken for me and the tie or the breast for the daughter. Because she can't cook. No, I am for her anyway because I don't want her to me. Them kind of things there. So for the simpleton to look on, and when he looks on, when he looks on, he says, you know, that you don't want nobody to take away from your simple life. And you look on, and, he, and you, him say, boy, because the country me live in, it's a place where I know, say, if I work hard and I do my best, I, I will have pride and joy, and I can have hopes and dreams. And if I miss the boat, my kids will probably make me proud one day. Because that's what happened. Bob Marley mother have nine kids. Bolt mother have nine kids. If that, that, and look what came from that. <laughs> we can, do I need to talk about the Jacksons and Serena Williams and her sister them? And the Tony Braxtons. Whole heap of picnic. You must get a star when you have whole heap of picnic. So then the, the, the nurse lady would not say, oh, the Jamaican people them stop have picnic. Because if it was busy procreating, you probably wouldn't be out there committing crimes. But I digress. I don't know. Maybe I'm no authority for that. But the point I'm making is, in the context, and let me, because let, I know people like to cut up and snip up. So let me make something clear. Speculation is a dangerous, dangerous tool. It is not based on facts. It is based on too many hypotheticals. It's not even circumstantial. It is completely ludicrous. It's like you, people, in speculation, you can include aliens. You can include teleportation. You can include um, time travel. Because you speculate, say, so it would have happened. So if somebody don't come by plane and then don't come by boat, them teleport. You see me? You over us. You understand? You over -stand. But with speculation, it is a problem. Yes, that's correct. Um, two to three months. Well, we, we get it. At the, we, we're not rushing the, 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 the lords. They will do what they have to do. And um, they have a reputation to, to always um, be on time. Because delay is also a part of the, the Constitution. A, a breach of the Constitution is delay. And, and whatever compensation from the delay is a matter for the court. But they recognize that. Um, so the jury trials are already an essential part of, of fair trial rights. So the right to a fair trial means that if we are charged with a criminal offense or if a public body is making decisions that impact our right, this has to be fair. So a fair hearing is what has to be fair. You must, you must get the opportunity to be heard. Once you get the opportunity to be heard, you can't go wrong in a life. Who wants to live in a world where people just don't have no respect for human rights? But the difference in the modern time is the people them no makes you have to stay alive. 
and fight for your freedoms and your rights because there are many before us Marcus Garvey, Paul Bogus, Sam Sharp. They might have, they, some of them died and they had to fight for our freedoms for us to now be doing that to our brothers and sisters and being unfair to them. So, Lord Camden quoted in Rosa Mar Rosemary Bell Antoine's Commonwealth Caribbean Law and Legal Systems that trial by jury is indeed the foundation of our free constitution. When you take that away, the whole fabric will soon mold into dust. You hear that? It is indeed the foundation of our free constitution and when you take it away, the whole fabric of the justice system um, mold into dust. So in recent times, the jury system has come under a lot of criticism and certainly for this one. It will be, however, argued that for all the drawbacks, there are stronger advantages supporting the retention of the jury system and a lack of adequate alternative and shows that a common law community, we are not quite ready to abolish um, the jury system. So there was a whole talk by a, a famous... Um, journalists that if this case wins jamaica will abolish the jury system i don't think so i think legislators simply have to legislate that if you tamper with the jury or there is jury tampering the, the trial continues with judge alone that's what happens in england so it preserves the jury system and if you really want to be tried by a jury of your peers you won't tamper with the system so according to the ministry of justice of jamaica person accused of certain crime acts are judged by a jury of their peers a practice inherited from the British jurisprudence. A jury is a group of people drawn from civil society and who bring their common sense, experience and wisdom to the matter of determining the guilt or innocence of a, follow, of a fellow citizen. This is done because of the belief that these jurors understand the nuances and idiocracies, idiosyncrasies of their society and bring their collective experience to bear on a trial. The trial by jury ensures that the citizens of a state are accountable to each other for decisions made rather, rather than to a government appointed judge. So in other words, the basis for a jury is that it is a representative cross section of the local community and therefore is more likely to judge in line with generally accepted values of the society. So jurors represent diverse backgrounds and therefore individual prejudices are likely to be neutralized so justification for trial by jury is is naturally what you would have heard just now so what are the criticisms well the first kink in the system is the selection process with a wide list of exemptions this results in a narrow pool of eligible persons who can be selected to sit on the panel most public official lawyers and persons who provide essential services such as doctors and soldiers are exempted from jury service this has this has an impact on the composition of the jury and raises the question whether the jury represents the defendant's peers and attains a true representation of society so jury qualifications result in both gender and class inequality with results in a composition which seldom represents the defendant. So you can imagine being an artist, you can imagine being a, a successful and then the people who are going to come and um, sit on your jury, your guys and the whole gully and, and, and the whole, uh, um, I don't really know that, I don't really know nothing other than guys and gully. Where the other people them name? Somebody help me out. Um. Oh, you miss you missed the you missed that interview already. There was one already. You know, you 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 will see the update. Check it out. Check it out when it happened. Um, vendetta. Yeah, those those vendetta people and yeah, um, and whatever those other people are, and you can imagine they come on the jury and say this is an opportunity for me to do good for um my vendetta people and the Crocs people um and the general side people and and the 66 one xxx people yeah and the psalms 91 people too yeah all of those people yeah can you imagine and they want they want to eliminate the com the competition so uh, could they ever really be a part your peers if they're biased and they don't indicate that to the jury so they always talk about the 
unrepresentative composition of the jury is further compounded by the small multicultural societies found in the Caribbean. So another concern is inconsistencies between inconsistencies between um, <clears throat> verdicts given and the evidence presented in court. So let's talk about that. You don't know. You can't even use a cell phone, but you bring back evidence. You bring back technological evidence in less than. You ready for find people guilty in less than two hours after after a sixty five day trial. Some 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 people don't even work sixty five days in their life, and them can come and talk with them. I got them. I got take information. I'm criticizing you know. So this is the criticism. So context matters. Anyway. What I'm drawing your attention to is after 65 days of um, of trial, you get a bunch of, and here, here I'm going to take this part and say, I said it's so disrespectful. Uneducated people put them in a room and expect them, and uneducated in the sense that they are not forensic experts. They, their competence level in terms of technological information is a little bit superior and so they need a lot more um, instructions to understand that what they're supposed to do compound that with a situation where there is bribery there's a situation where they know that they will go to prison when they vote uh, 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 to put it in time a, a different way pressure pressure under them fire under them most most tail and then think a cool breeze and the result is if you if you stay true to what you're supposed to do you are got prison and evidence of that is one of them the man the man get found guilty and them send the man go to prison who's gonna put themselves through that think about think on these things so anyway um the, given that there's a whole lot of conversation that it leads to the jury disregarding the rules of law and coming up with inaccurate verdicts. An example where the jury considered both facts and law, though erroneously left to them, can be seen in the case of Sukram, 1971, where they had to determine whether the issue of self-defense rose on the facts. A task the court held was for the judge and not the jury. So sometimes there are tasks held for the judge and not the jury, but that's not the complaints to everyone except for when things are complicated, your peers are is not necessarily um, the the best person to assist or help you. I have to be very mindful of that and care about that. Hold on, um, Nicole. So why was the evidence seen? Evidence seen bulldozer down. That's a, that, I, I'm glad that that was raised today, but the, the, the scene was in police custody when that happened. So the best person to ask is the police. What's the next question? And these are the these are the critiques or these are the things that's happening that you expect um, to to the things was raised that there was an odor in the house, but the dog did dead and that was that was said it. Um, they they said that there was blood. That those things not true. Um, so we have to be careful in terms of. Um, the reality of what's in the space and what is not. But I'm not here to try no case because I was in the trial attorney. Big up yourself, Mr. Tom Tavares, KFC. Mr. Vincent, KFC. KFC boss. So, the perceived ignorance and incompetence of the jury is another cause for concern. In Nanan and the State, 1986, the foreman instructed the jury that a majority verdict was needed when, in fact, it should have been unanimous, as he did not know the meaning of the word unanimous. Literacy and low level of education can have a negative impact on the process of trial by jury. I'm reading from a book, so if anybody thinks I'm disrespecting, I'm showing you what the critique is. is. Can you imagine somebody come and say, yeah, we have to get a majority verdict, but I saw we do it, because you see in my constituency, where we have vote all the people them, and the majority them we use, and we have to be majority on this when he's trying to say unanimous. Think on those things. Jury may place too much emphasis on their feelings. Feelings, nothing more than my feelings. And it allow their decisions to be affected by sympathies for the defendant or the victim instead of making their decisions on the evidence alone. According to Antoine, this leads to an unfair lack of uniformity in decisions and to an unpredictability in the law, since jury law will change from case to case and from jury to jury. So it is unlike the certainty of a judicial precedent which followed on points of legal principle. So jurors 
may also be affected by prejudice and bias. And it is believed that juries are greatly influenced by the appearance, class, and manner of defendants and witnesses. For example, the negative view of Rastafarians. Jurors may be willing to let their prejudices make up their minds before the trial even begin. And trust me, it's not just jurors. I can tell you, I went in front of some people and my, just my Rasta alone let them say, yo, I'm the worst thing. And let me that two years, eh? So the jurors' engagement during the trial, which may be affected by boredom or willingness to be present, is also a cause of concern. So it is quite possible for decisions to be rushed because jurors want to go home. These things sound familiar? Think on these things. Yes, yes, BCA. Yes, Lotto. Big up the rat. <laughs> yeah, the, the demon. What kind of name that? Sunshine. Rochelle. Yeah, you're following me. Um, big up my TikTok people. Why the police officer bring home the accused phone? Uh, so them days they phone phone did hard for buy and blackberry blackberry and them things there when you have your little nokia banger you want to play with a blackberry and them things there so you, you take home the phone and you go to kfc and you buy a six piece and you say hey my girl may i come check you may i bring some kfc for you and then you <laughs> yeah you know you give me the ungle mengle yeah so in the smaller jurisdictions Within the Commonwealth Caribbean, the general problems with jury trials are often exas exacerbated. So local knowledge of the defendant and or the crime can lead to impartiality and this is the magnified by ease of access to new reports and even further magnified by the technological advances of the modern era. So this begs the question of how well the jury system can work in the 21st century now that the internet makes it impossible to, to research a defendant's or, or witness history. How can you uh, can you ask for a retrial given the mass publicity for years with the most popular human being in in, in, in the criminal justice system at the moment? Just you you just let me know that.